Good morning and happy Wednesday, everyone. Welcome back for another card challenge. I'm very excited about today's card challenge, and I hope you are too. Um, before we get started, though, my name is Christina Reese. This is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page at 9 a.m. Central Time. Then I upload it to my YouTube channel, so if you're catching me on the replay, please give me a shout out, say hi, let us know where you are from. Okay, I have a question for you. Who knows what a group of butterflies is called? Ha! <laughs> I'm not going to tell you till later. All right. Um, we are doing a challenge today, and last week we had a challenge. I need to uh, spin for our winner for last week's card challenge. And last week's card challenge was a card sketch. This week is a theme. This week's card challenge is going to be butterflies. I am so excited. I love this new suite uh, that uh, Stampin' Up! just released on Tuesday, yesterday, and uh, and I'm going to show it to you here in just a sec, but before I show you the suite, let me show you, uh, let's spin the wheel and see who this week's winner is. All right, here we go. Um, I listed, so I, I'm getting so many uh, people do the car challenge, which I love, but it, I can't type all the names in. It takes too long now. So now I'm doing numbers, and then um, I just count down and find that number on the list of whoever uh, entered their car challenge. Okay, so here we go. We're spinning, and we landed on number two. Okay, and when I count down, I come to Deborah Crowder. Yay, Deborah! I'm so, I don't think you've won before. I'm not sure, but that's okay if you have one. I love uh, re-gifting everybody, so just keep entering, and if you win multiple times, that's great. Okay, so Deborah, I will get that uh, gift in the mail to you. Okay, uh, the the new suite, and let me move this over. So our new uh, stamp set just released yesterday is called Butterfly. Butterfly Brilliance, and it comes with this amazing, or it doesn't come with it, it, it has a coordinating uh, die set, and this die is what is so fun. So this stamp set is one large, one large stamp, and then when you um, stamp it and you then can cut six butterflies out all at once. Is that so fun? I love it. But more than that, instead of stamping, it also will take this paper. Oh, which one is it? Here it is. This paper here. And you can put the die on this paper and cut six beautiful butterflies out all at once. So how neat is that? And the paper is just gorgeous. So we have um, Monarch Butterflies in the Clouds. And on the back, a Calypso Coral uh, graphic uh, paper, uh, just a regular paper to use with anything. Then here's uh, butterflies with some uh, splatter on there. And here is a variegated rainbow of butterflies with some uh, Calypso Coral and yellow clouds. And here's some fun blue and pink butterflies with uh, uh, bay, 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 Bermuda Bay. <laughs> <laughs> color on the back and finally then this fun paper um, with pink and calypso coral on the back so beautiful paper oh and I forgot to show you the rainbow cloud paper that's on the back of this so gorgeous paper gorgeous stamp uh, gorgeous dies and one more piece it has this part of the suite this um, this comes as a 12 by 12 but and I can't do it justice on a video but it is textured wood grain paper. Um, it kind of feels like leather. It's, it's really neat. So all this fun stuff. And right now, when you order, we are in the month of March. So during the month of March, if you put in an order of $50 or more, I will send you a free thank you gift um, as long as you use this code here so that I know that you want a free gift. All right, let's get into making a card. First step is our card base. Oh, look at all these people this morning. Love you guys. Well, hello, Mary Peterson. Uh, she has an appointment at 1130, so she's 
Uh, just going to grab a little bit of this. Uh, uh, so you must be over on the East Coast. Is that right, Mary? Um, so your time's a little different than ours because it's only 9 o'clock here. <laughs> And of course, if you're over on the West Coast, it's a bright early seven in the morning. Oh my heavens. All right, so quick uh, ba book card base, just a uh, A2 card, four and a quarter by five and a half. All right, you can either do it um, as an eight and a half by five and a half or a four and a quarter by 11 and just fold it in half and get a card base. Then we want a couple of layers. I'm using a black layer and this black layer is cut at five by three and three quarters. All right, and that's gonna give me a quarter inch of the base all around, okay? And then another layer, this is white. This is cut at four and seven eighths and three and five eighths because I only wanted a sixteenth of an inch of black showing. All right, just a itty bitty bit of black there. So that is my layers. Um, let's go ahead and take the white layer and what we're going to do, I'm taking the pool party and a blender brush and I'm going to put some pool party blender brush. Oh, okay. Mary's in Wisconsin. She was messaging a girlfriend. That is hilarious. <laughs> okay. Well, now we know your plans for the day, Mary. I love it. I love it. Oh, let me get some scratch paper just in case I go off the edge here. And I just keep a uh, scrap printer paper on the, it's a little tip, um, scrap printer paper on my uh, desk over there so that um, I can just grab it whenever I need. And I am going to, I just want my pool party in the center. I don't want it on the edges. So I'm going to have to uh, first rub a little bit off here so that I'm not too dark when I land, but very lightly, hardly even touching the card. I'm barely even holding this brush. Okay, now I'm pressing a little harder. Okay, and a little harder. There we go. Now we're getting some color in there. Okay, like I said, I don't want too much. See, I just want a little bit, but I, I think I want it a little darker than that. So let me try a little more here. And... Um, like I said, I like to rub off some of it so it's not too harsh, but don't rub off so much that you don't have any ink. And then very lightly, I mean, hardly even touching the brush, and then press down harder as you keep going. Mm, there we go. That's better. Now we can see our color. All right, so there we have just a little bit of pool party. And that's just, I'm putting a couple of butterflies there, and I just didn't want stark white behind the butterflies. All right, so we're done with the ink. Oh, look at all these people this morning. Yes, yes. Hey, Deborah Crowder, I don't know if you were on when I spun the wheel, but you won this morning from last week's challenge. So um, if I don't have your address, I'm pretty sure I do, but if I don't, um, I'll ask for it um, in a private message later. All right, so let's do this. We're going to... Um, Cut out the butterflies. Now what I did is I took this full butterfly paper. Where is it? Come here. I took this full butterfly paper here and I just, I cut it out and I got all these butterflies with that one die. Um, and I'm using the two small ones. So I'm using this one and this one down here. Okay, so I'm using the two smallest butterflies in this collection here. And I am just going to place these on my card just randomly here with some dimensionals. Okay. Okay, and there's one. And here's another. And I'm going to tape these two layers together now. Okay, this black with this white. All right, just tape these together. And I'm just using my Stampin' Seal. And for those of you who have the Stampin' Seal, just um, run it regular, but then tilt it back and flick your wrist out. And that'll keep it from gumming up inside there. It breaks the, the tape. 
Now, like I said, this is just a sixteenth of an inch all the way around. Just hardly any black, just enough to kind of uh, let those butterflies pop right there. It kind of draws your eyes to the butterflies. Now, I want to put some twine here, and then we're going to put the sentiment over the twine. And I just have the black and white twine from the Playful Pets. One and two. And I'm just going to tie that in a bow. Hold on, I need some more for bow tying here. There we go. I like keeping it on the spool, that way I don't waste too much. I'm going to cut off a little bit of this tail here, but not too much. Mm -hmm. There we go. And please, and definitely when you have a twisted um, twine like this, you definitely need to hold these loops. Um, when you pull it through or these loops will twist. Something about the the double color that uh, wants to twist really easy. Okay, and I don't want real big loops. Alright, so I have some that I'm going to waste, but this side I'm not going to waste. That's why I keep it on the spool. And I'm just going to cut that and cut that. There we go. And I'm going to lift it up a little bit. Now, I want to, let's see, I tied the twine. Now I'm going to put this on the card, but I want this card, I want it to pop up. So I'm going to put dimensionals on the back. I, this is another tip. Um, I've used up all the dimensionals on this sheet. So, and this sheet fits perfect on there. So I am going to just peel this off of here. No waste. Uh, what did, uh, Benjamin Franklin say, uh, waste not, want not. So if I don't waste this, then I won't need, then I won't have a want for more adhesive, I guess. I'm not sure how that really goes, but <laughs> waste not, want not. Yeah, I'm not in want of more dimensional tape because I didn't waste it. I think that's how that goes. <laughs> Listen to me trying to give you all wisdom. I'm a goof. Okay, here we go. Ah, all right. There. Now we have the card and our black is lifted up. Our little butterflies are lifted up, but we're not quite done. We need a sentiment on here. Do you all remember, I mean, weeks ago, I did the many messages. This is another one of these uh, dies that cuts a whole bunch out at once. So you just stamp, this is one big stamp, okay? You stamp all these sentiments, and then you line up the die, you cut it all out, and you get all of these sentiments. And I keep them in this little basket on the side of my desk. And where is, here's the sentiment I am using today. It says, wishing you a year of magical moments and wonderful mis uh, memories. So this can uh, be for a birthday or for, um, let's see, wishing you a year. Yeah, I guess it uh, it would be a definitely a, a birthday. Maybe an anniversary. Okay, and that's just going to go there. Um, I am putting it over double twine, so I will need some uh, dimensionals. And I'm just going to grab... Come on, i got some dimensionals in here somewhere. Well, I have many dimensionals. That'll work. That'll work. I'm just going to, I'm putting them in the court. Like I said, I, the twine will go right between there. Okay. So we have a card challenge this week, and it is butterflies. And I asked you all at the beginning uh, what a group of butterflies is called. Let's see if anybody came up with it. Hold on, let me go all the way back to the beginning here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um... Good morning, good morning, Sharon. Oh, thank you, Linda, for sharing. Yes, you all, please share um, the video. That way more people will join in and we'll get more people doing the contest too. Um, uh, Tammy says, Tammy King says, good morning, we'll watch the replay, but how do you clean those brushes off? Oh, these brushes, okay, yeah. Oh, great question, Tammy. Where's my cloth? 
All right, I have a microfiber cloth here. Now, um, I just rub it on there and get as much off as possible. And I keep doing that until it won't leave any ink on a piece of white scrap paper. Um, here's my scrap paper here, so now I can test it. And it's going clean. Now, you can also then take this and rinse it in the sink. Um, I just rinse it with water. It's a water-based uh, ink, so it'll come out with the water. And then you just let it dry overnight like you would a paintbrush. You just kind of stick it straight up and let it air dry. But uh, using a micro soft cloth, um, you just rub it until you don't see any more ink. Great question, Tammy. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's put this sentiment on and we are done. Oh, I was going back to see if anybody had trying to get a COVID vaccine and she's nowhere here in Yuma. Oh, Debbie Spicer, I'm sorry. Of course, you could do like I did get the stupid virus and then you have an immunity no don't do that don't <laughs> get the get the vaccine um and debbie spicer says brushes can be washed with water but rubbing them on a soft cloth as well anytime tammy good thank you debbie for helping her out and jean hoffman she shared thank you so much jean wanda okay no one has answered what a group of butterflies is called i'll give you all just a minute more while i get these uh dimensional backs off a group of butterflies. When I read that, I thought, that is the coolest thing. I love it. It is a really unique um, word when you hear it. <laughs> there we go. All right, we are done. Oh, no, we're not. We need some bling. Let's get the opals out. I love the opals. Aren't they pretty? All right, let's put, um, let's put one here and one here and one down here there we go now it's done isn't that pretty a group of butterflies is called a kaleidoscope <laughs> isn't that fun i love that all the pretty colors okay a group of butterflies a kaleidoscope and it does kind of look like a kaleidoscope doesn't it yeah yay you all have a wonderful, yay, Hilda Mel New and Michelle New, yay. Okay, um, remember we have uh, the host code, so if you order this month, please use the host code and I'll send you um, a nice free gift for a thank you. And uh, the theme is butterflies for this week's card challenge. I will put a post over on my Facebook page over on my Facebook page. We are on my Facebook page. <laughs> Up on my Facebook page. Um, it's always posted at the top for the whole week, so you can always find it real easy. And we will see you Friday for Fun Fold Friday. I will be using this set again. I can't wait to show you what I come up with for Fun Fold Friday with this set. And, um, Oh, yes, yes, Nancy. It's a good sentiment for a New Year's card. Great. Thank you. Um, you all have a blessed day. See you Friday. Bye-bye. <laughs>